going on, Palace Faithful? I'm Ben. I'm Sim. And we are Tottenham TV. Now let's get into the match preview. For Spurs, a successful season this season is a top four finish and a trophy. I think that's what all the fans want. I hate it when people ask me, would you prefer a top four or, um, or a cup? We need both. We're a club pulling in the right direction. We just need a little thing, well, not little, massive things, just to, to boost our levels. I think anything less, if we have one without the other, I can't even really call it a successful season. You have a good season or maybe an okay season, but I don't think a successful season has to be top four and a trophy. Yeah. There's nothing more I'm dying. I'm not dying for anything more than a trophy, mm -hmm. but have we said that, yeah. I think I would prefer top four over a trophy if it was one or the other. Yeah, but I, I, if we got but a trophy without top four, it's not a successful season. Mm -hmm. It might be a good one, I wouldn't say successful. But well, when I'm talking about trophy, I'm talking about mm -hmm. FA Cup. Exactly. Champions League would just be unreal. I think Pochettino made the right decision. I looked at the lineup and I thought, yeah, it's, it's a good lineup. Uh, definitely good enough to win the game. When you look at the Newport game, mm -hmm. uh, comparing to this game, we played a lot better. A lot more chances created. Lorente yet again missing an easy chance. Lucas, star of the show. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what do you think? I think, considering we had an eight-day break between this game, between this game and the, and the Rochdale game, I don't think ten changes was completely necessary from Pochettino. I can see why he did it. It's a, it's a squad game, but I think I don't think he had to make ten changes. I think it was a bit too much, and I think it kind of affected our forms a bit. But if he doesn't make these changes, then when are these players going to play? I'm saying make changes, but not 10. Tens of, and tens also, of we needed to make so many changes because we had so many players coming back from injury What we need match fitness. Yeah, I agree with you, but I, I just think maybe with an eight-day break... Maybe nine game, leaves the circle on the bench. Maybe. <laughs> it's absolutely devastating that Ryan Mason gutting, absolutely gutting. gutting this. It really, really tragic that he had to retire after a, really, after a fractured skull. Um, he's one of our own, he came for our academy, he really, people can even argue that he saved Pochino's job um, when he first broke into that the team goal, yeah. in, in 2014, you know, Pochino was really, really struggling and, and he really gave us that um, passion, that drive in that centre midfield for, for a small part uh, that really drove the Pochettino era forward. But having said that, he didn't have the required quality to kind of push us forward when we were challenging for titles and unfortunately he had to leave, but we were fantastic to cut if he could come back as coach. Love him. I love the man. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's Tottenham through and through. Yeah. He's uh, talk. He's well. Pochettino's in talk with John McDonough, who's our youth coach at the moment, about bringing him back as a coach. And we'd all love to see him back at Spurs. Absolutely, everyone yeah, no, would love to see him back. Once he in, always he in. No. <laughs> we will definitely not rest any players in this game. We have to get three points. Absolutely massive game, considering the games later. Me and Man United play Chelsea. It's a really big opportunity to be gaining points in that top four. So no, no, can't afford to um, let this opportunity pass us by. I need three points here. When you look at our lineups against Juve, Arsenal, United, Liverpool, mm -hmm. all pretty much the same. Well, they were the same, weren't they? Very, all very similar. Obviously, Lamella came against Juventus. Yeah. Um, it's, I think you're going to have to go full strength. We can't afford to, to, to be um, can't afford to be dropping points here, and it has to. We have to be going all out for three points here, all out. I 100% agree. It's a massive game. I think it's going to be a tight game. I think Roy Hodgson always sets his side up. Re re really good organisation. Really good defensive solidity. Roy, Roy exactly. Um, I think they've got a few injuries. Zaha so, is a big one. Yeah, and I think Scott Dan might be out. James really? Dawkins, yeah. They have the whole defence then? Yeah, I think a couple of defenders might be out. So they're struggling a bit in that department. But, but Roy will set his team out with good organisation. And I, I expect a real tough game. I don't think there will be more than a goal in it either side. But I think Spurs will, will come out on top of their superior quality. We're in good form. So I'm confident we'll, we'll win. I've not been that confident, to be honest, for the past week. Um, seeing as we've beaten United, we've drawn away to Liverpool and Juve, and we've beaten the scum, um, it's all very great results, but it's, it's so Spursy to, to play brilliant in all those games and then drop points against, I wouldn't call you lesser, but you are at the other end of the table. Um, so, I don't know, I've been saying that we are going to drop points, but I'm going to stay confident, I'm going to go 1-0 to Spurs, I think I think Harry Kane's going to get the goal and happy days back in the top four for Spurs. Cheers for five year plan for having us on. There's your match preview and as always, come on Spurs! Spurs.